uh, welcome back everybody so uh, I've done today uh, something about uh, Jenkins pipeline and also running Terraform uh, inside the Jenkins pipeline so uh, I thought of doing it uh, when I uh, put a command like git push so what I've done was uh, I, I have a uh, Jenkins file and then uh, some .tf if I can run uh, one TF file, you can run uh, pretty much Terraform module. So it is just to prove uh, to run Terraform within the Jenkins uh, file. So what I've done was I have a couple files here. So if I if I go here and then if I do ls, I have couple files here. When I push these uh, two files, that that's gonna go to here and it will be saved here. So once uh, these are all saved here, you can pretty much observe that three hours back up. Jenkins file have been saved here and then uh, even nine minutes back uh, So I just made sure before recording this video. I have a successful run So I've got this uh, easy to the TF. So once I push this I have set up webhook here uh, between my Jenkins server. So once I've got my uh, Webhook and everything set up here. So what it does is uh, this triggers a Jenkins job uh, into my Terraform uh, pipeline so if I go here I have my github project uh, uh, put it here and then ignore this uh, this seems to be uh, fine so I've just got my uh, Jenkins git project uh, uh, from SCM I've selected a pipeline from SCM and then I I gave uh, credentials to connect to that and then I uh, gave the path at Jenkins file but there, there seems to be a problem uh, I uh, when I tried uh, doing it I was able to uh, that webhook is able to trigger the uh, freestyle project and other project but not the pipeline when i uh, went through internet and researched uh, i found that uh, so they, they, there is a problem uh, with jenkins or webhook i don't really know uh, that is not able to uh, push uh, pipeline projects especially so what i thought was i wanted to do this from git so no matter whatever it is so i i I created an uh, upstream project here call it uh, I named it as call it and then uh, what I've done was I, I um, I'm not doing pretty much anything so uh, whenever there's a github hook so that that uh, receive that hook from here and uh, this seems to be working ignore that so whenever I do git push there and the webhook calls this particular call it for a job uh, I'm uh, not doing anything in here except uh, whenever this triggers after this trigger uh, call the downstream project as uh, Terraform pipeline which I've shown you just now uh, what this does is uh, this builds from the pipeline so whenever there is a push it go to that github and then clones it and then uh, goes to Jenkins file and then push it so let me just uh, show you the practical way of uh, doing it so I have uh, these two files so when I just git uh, add dot and git commit hyphen m um, I'll find as a commit message uh, git push origin master when I give that it shows you everything is up to date so because all files are up to date uh, uh, the it is showing that so let me just go um, edit uh, this tf file here so this output doesn't really matter for us uh, because we, we just wanted to prove the case so uh, i'll just go and then uh, dd, dd, dd. yeah i'm pretty much saving my file now i'm gonna repeat the same command git add now if i type git status i can see that uh, modified is ec2 and now git commit uh, removed output block uh, but before pushing i wanted to show you that uh, if i go here uh, and see here 13 minutes back let me let me just refresh uh, so that you feel that i'm not cheating here i've refreshed it so even after the refresh, uh, this has been pushed three hours back, and then uh, this is 30 minutes back. Now the time is uh, 5 8 here. Uh, let me just push now get push origin and master. And before I type in this command, I want I also wanted to come uh, to this Jenkins jobs 
and if you see the last run was made 1655 and if you see the time is now uh, uh, 1508 and the same way that there is something called call it as well so it is called 1655 as well so whenever this call and th that gets triggered by this job so so now uh, when i type in this command so you can just refresh it here and you can see this is a, a minute back and just, just uh, quickly jump in here and then if you see bill q has so this you can ignore and that call it is uh, about to execute and the call it has been happening so this call it is happening now jenkins pipeline so if i go call it so it is saying so it is executed at 5 9 that now the time is 5 9 if i go to that console output here so because uh, i've uh, hooked it uh, for this project so let me just go to jenkins pipeline see here so this is this is all successful so uh, there is some configuration tweaking that i've done here what i've done was uh, so I don't want to store that secret key access key uh, within my um, a Terraform file because that will be eventually pushed into GitHub. I also don't want to uh, put AWS CLI and uh, do all this trauma because uh, I don't want to do much uh, just for this video. So instead I've just uh, put uh, my variables.tf inside that uh, my home directory and then uh, I'm copying it from the home directory. To show you the, the Jenkins file how does that look like is this one so uh, this is uh, jenkins file so uh, every time that runs uh, i am removing everything and then uh, cloning it from github and if you see this is copying that varus.tf and then here and the, the, it is able to run to show you the output of it so let me just uh, go to uh, this console output here and then see here um, running shell script so this stage is uh, yeah this is git cloning this is started yes yeah, started and this is uh, this is cloning and this is copying which i've just discussed and now this is doing in it and then this is doing uh, terraform plan So I'm not doing Terraform uh, apply here because um, if we can um, make sure that Terraform plan is working, it is just a matter of uh, uh, for me it's a it's a matter of going into the project and uh, going into the configuration and then add that uh, stage here. So if I open this file, this has been pushed. So if I add one more stage, uh, stage Terraform apply and then steps um, give the same command ls that and then the sudo uh terraform apply and then give that or maybe i can refer to the plan file which have been created so if you can do that uh, we are pretty much there so this is it guys um, thanks for watching and um, have a good day happy learning bye